Hello, folks. Let me wait for a few more people to jump into the uh, into the live before we start moving around. Hello, Sue. Hi. Welcome, everybody. You're welcome, folks. Kind of see uh, how many mods are around. Uh, yes. Yeah. I've been here since about ten thirty this morning. Uh, quite a busy morning, actually. Film the complete regimental changeover, guys. That was the video I posted a little while ago. Some very familiar faces back here today in the sunshine, but they're struggling a little bit. As to be honest, was I this morning? It's just it's too hot, people. I think we might end up topping 30 odd. The boxmen, wow, they'll definitely be in 30 degrees in those boxes today. Super, 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 super hot day. Crazy, in fact. Hey, welcome everyone. Uh, no, sorry, he's not. He'll be back at some point next week. Hey, Shannon. Okay, great. So we have at least one or two mods in the chat. Perfect. Yep, so blues are indeed back, everybody. Hey, welcome. Watching from Germany. Um, I'm trying as much as possible to stay close to or in the shade. Um, at 11 this morning, full sunlight at the front is boiling. But, 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 but boiling. I will quickly show you... Um, Today will be two separate lives, folks. They'll be from now until um, the two o'clock change, which I will cover quickly. Then I will break from two to, to two fifty, and I'll be back for the three o'clock double change and the end of day. So there'll be roughly two and a half hours of lives between the two lives. That's the best way to, to break it up. <laughs> it's funny. I always associate Arkham with uh, the summer trip now, Debbie. Ever since the blues got back, the musical uh, musical troupe from Arkham, I always think about it as being blues country. So let's go and uh, show you the boxman. Why? Because we will not be seeing too much of them until I get back later. Here are our two lovely boxmen at the front. Boxman number one. He has got uh, got the lottery in today. He's out out of the bright sunshine. Hugely out of the bright sunshine. Luckily, the other boxman, though, bless him, when he first came out. Honestly, he was squinting like crazy because that light at this end, even though he can pull the horse back into the box, he's still at the super sunny end. One second. This end, you really need to squint, in fact. It's crazy bright. Look. You can see it, no? Even though he's pulled the horse back into the, uh, into the box a teeny bit, it's just bright, bright, bright. Uh, Johnny Fro shows up for more days news because there may not be a bet going. Oh, we have to wait and see. I'm sure she will. Oh, here's the trooper. Hey Heather. So the blues will be here for a good few days, people, that's the good news. Um, I think to be honest, uh, Having waited out the back for a good 30 minutes today in the heat, a few of them were, were wilting a little tiny bit when they rode through finally. This morning was a real tough one to stand, uh, stand out there and film it, let alone being on the horse with all that kit on. Hey, Margaret. I think this goes with every single picture that I've seen with every single trooper here so far today. Is a trooper groupie, or would that not just be a troopie? A groupie that likes troopers would be a, a group, a troopie, no? Instead of a groupie. <laughs> to be honest, they only did SPF 50, folks. It's that hot. I think they're taking the hot ones like too hot. You think they might? Oh, let's see. That'll be interesting. Oh! I've never seen him before. They might be taking the horses off everybody. Let's see. Corporal of horse I've never seen before. Second. I'm not sure if it's too hot if they're going to take them off. Yeah, I've never seen this, uh, this Corporal of horse before. We will have to wait and see, guys. It'll be so disappointing having just uh, gone live if they did take the horses off. Let's see. They're either going to take these off and not replace them. Well, we might get a changeover as per usual. Guess we need to wait and see. 
I'm going to be checking with the troopers to make sure they're not too hot. I'm not sure whether he did or not. Yep, they are indeed. Everybody's moving back onto the line. I forgot actually. Let me get into a decent ish spot because we've got the one o'clock about to, about to begin. A massive tourist group taking over the whole entire corner. <laughs> Okay, that works out well. Me following the corporal of horse in uh, just in the right moment because this corner for the boxman change is going to be a very interesting one. It's going to be interesting, guys, because I'm actually standing on the spot where the boxman needs, sorry, the gatesman needs to come out. Why? Because there's nowhere else to stand. So I'm going to have to be very careful that I don't get owned. In fact, there's a very good chance that I'm going to get owned if I'm not careful. Yikes. Yeah, even the uh, the Spanish tour guides are using their umbrellas today. Not because so much to keep the group informed of where they are, but because it's so hot. These guys are... She never puts her group over in the shade, but today she has. I'm going to focus more on what's happening behind me, because I really do not want to get owned by this trooper. I know him, but he'll still shout at me extremely loudly. <laughs> Uh, no, we've only just come on, so nothing dramatic's happened yet. We're waiting for the changeover that's happening in about four minutes. If uh, the trooper doesn't come out, or the police don't come out, and tell everybody to make some space, we're going to get a massive yell from this trooper, uh, who's eyeballing me already, thinking, hold on a second, son. So he's looking at me like, hey, you're in my, uh, in my spot, son. I'm coming through there in a second. Oops. Yep, that's right. He's going to own me, folks. I might have to run into the front and get trampled by the horses. It'll be less embarrassing than uh, him having to scream at me to get out of the way. It's a lovely day, but it's very hot. People are very agitated. Uh, and the guards are, I wouldn't quite go as far as struggling, but they're certainly uncomfortable in this, uh, this heat today. This is probably the hottest day, I would say, so far of this month. We have several uh, missing the slosh men today, uh, but yes, he's the finest. <laughs> it's going to be very interesting to see how he's going to get out of the arch with this many people here. It's going to be difficult for me, unless he comes out shortly, and at the moment he's showing no indication of moving. It's going to be very difficult for me to be able to film the changeover whilst also having to bear in mind that he might come out behind me. Uh, temperature, I mean, in the sunshine, it's got to be close to 30, I would think. He's getting ready, he wants some, to some tourist scalps. Mine included. It's now two minutes to... What do I do? You're welcome everybody just joining. It doesn't typically get this hot. It hasn't actually been this hot in London since June. In June we had 35-ish uh, one day. Today's arguably the second or third is hot of the year, hottest day of the year, sorry. Yeah, he will, uh, he will loudly verbalise it if necessary. It's like we're stuck in 500 jail again, people. Let's see what happens after this change. If we don't move above that, then I will have to restart the line. Reception's good though, that's the main thing. Mr. Pringlegate guard, I don't actually remember in fact. Hey folks, yeah, this group, massive group, have completely taken over the side here. This edge is blocked. And there is nowhere for me to move other than into the middle if the guard comes out. That being the problem, folks. No, I mean, I'll be laughing at myself, don't worry about that. That's why I'm being super careful and looking back. The second I lose focus on the film, the horses is going to come out and, uh, and scream in my, in my uh, face.
You can tell he's ready, can't you? Look. Okay, there's the belt. Bingity bong. Actually, I'll just listen for the sword when he when he taps the sword on the ground. I need to pray he does tap the sword on the ground. Right, I'm going to face the camera this way whilst my head's the other way, guys, so I'll ignore the screen for a minute. Also left their push chair pram right in the guard's way. Well, if you push it on the floor. any moment. And the Gatesman brother is really taking his time. <laughs> Bingo. Got it spot on, people, didn't we? We got it. Right in the camera. <laughs> did you get? Did you see that, everyone? Wow. Nice timing, eh, folks? I was pretty sure we'd get it, and we did. I got it on the other phone as well in beautiful 4K. His face was right in the camera. <laughs> Ladies, look, face. <laughs> when he screamed, classic. Ah, she definitely got it shocked. That was, that was one of the best ones of the week, actually. Okay, here they come. Let me focus on this now, guys. That was beautiful, wasn't it? That was really good to see. This corporal, of course, must be flipping baking. <laughs> that would have been me, guys, getting screamed. I would have got super owned then. to see that, really. The phone screen's boiling hot for when I try and zoom in now. It's boiling. Oh. Oh, straight through the corner. Whoa. Loving it. Straight through the corner. That was rare. Did you see that, guys? Did it, did it, actually, did it actually capture that in the live? They slice through the tourists in the corner. Please tell me we got that. I, I've never seen that before. They're really not playing about today. Actually, wait, I'm going to get myself way back. 
oh, it's a crowding here too much, everybody. Look at them all, look. Now they're all, <laughs> now they're all scared, look. <laughs> wow. I never ever saw that before. They never go through the corner like that. They did it on purpose. Just to, to make a point to the tourists that, hey, you know what? You folks need to get out of the way. Okay, the other guard's coming back out the tunnel in a minute. Let me get in the right spot for that, folks. This is crazy today. Like, really. I was not expecting that, everyone. I really wasn't expecting that. Okay, here he comes. Okay, here comes the trooper, everybody. There's a huge number of tourists on my left. Let's see what happens now. This trooper will not take any nonsense. Oh! <laughs> did, did we capture that as well, folks? I think we did, didn't we? There are just too many people here. Look, if I stand back... Whoa, way, way too many people. Look at this. Crazy number of people. No wonder they're having to scream to move. Look, look at them all. Look. Going forward to the arch now. There are hundreds of people. Between, between where I'm standing and the arch. Oh, he just screamed at somebody else to get out of fact from the arches. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Chaos. Look at this, how many people there are in the front of the arches. Wow. Just wow. Or oh, wowzer. I mean, my goodness, we need to be busy because there was a guard change this morning at the palace, but this, what on earth? <laughs> Absolutely crazy, folks, no? I mean, just a like, different world. Way too many people. This is why I think some people are getting shouted at, some people are getting owned massively. I'm also fully zoomed out. Oh, actually, no, I am. One second. I was slightly zoomed in. Goodness me. I don't remember seeing this many people squished in front of the arch. Okay, here we are. I can't blame them. Um, I'm, I wouldn't quite say struggling, but I, I'm just about comfortable with the heat today. Um, and it's only one o'clock. By two, it's going to be even hotter. Look at how much they're crowded, in fact, around the arch today. Crazy. Truth is coming out. He's like, what the hell is all the noise? My mind is fully boggled, guys, by what we just saw. The sheer numbers. Wow. Okay, let's just have a quick look at that video of, uh, of the other guard coming out. One second. Let's see how clear that, clear that video was taken in the end. One minute, guys. Oh wow, it's really clear, people. <laughs> One second, let me show you. If anyone that missed it, look, this is what happened earlier. <laughs> he went straight through. I think it was the, the, the closest ever that I got of somebody being uh, screamed at and or pushed out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> right in front of the camera. That was pure luck. Brilliant. Okay, who, somebody else is, is desperate to get screamed at. Look. I think that um, Bruna, definitely Bruna here, Bruna from Brazil, um, is very tempted to go into the arches. 
Oops, instead the archers are coming to Bruna. So if anybody's in the way or anything similar. Oops, I spy him with my little eye, some people in the way. Ah, oh, damn it, that would have been super good. <laughs> Are we going for a new record, ladies and gents? I wonder. And if he beats it in this heat, I'll be absolutely shocked and bewildered. Oh, she's got her arm around him. She almost touched him. She put her arm around him, but luckily she didn't touch. Oh, that's it. He's had enough already. <laughs> this guy's waiting for a picture. The guy's just like, no, you're not having one. <laughs> he was just waiting for a picture. The guy just walked off. I think it's probably because he realised how close that woman's hand was. Good Lord. Yeah, I don't think any of them are going to even try and beat the record in this uh, this kind of temperature. Way too hot. Look, even the Spanish groups are in the shade. I mean, if they can't deal with the heat, and it looks to me like they're struggling a little bit, then, you know, us poor pale white Brits, uh, like me, got no chance. I feel like bacon in a pan, cooking slowly. Guys, I can't see, depending on where I'm standing, some of the time the comments because the light, the sunlight's on the screen. You can see, look, how people are squinting, even the kids and so on, people are squinting in front of the guard, it's just too bright. The brightness here today is completely ridiculous. Oh. Let me go back to the front. Some of the tour groups have given up. They just all collapsed in the corner in a big group. It's too hot. We want to get back to Spain. It's too hot here in England. I hate London. It's way too hot. Nobody told me it was going to be 30 degrees. This classic, this. <laughs> just, they're just not paying attention at all to the inside. <laughs> Here's the heat probably, no? Getting to them. It's way too hot today. Sorry. Okay, wait, guys, Pascal's on that horse. I'm going to go to this end. It's easier if we, uh, if we try and cover up horse each. That way, if something dramatic does happen, one of us gets it. Oops. Oh, sponsored by Stabilo Permanent uh, Fluorescent Markers. Anyone saying it's not hot, uh, come down here, put on a woolen overall, uh, a metal helmet, and sit on a horse and then tell me it's not hot. It's because it's so hot, then breaking today's live into two parts.
Bits of the horse moves. Trouble is, anyone getting pictures of this today is going to be squinting massively because it's so sunny. Oscar, watch his nose again. No, them poofy. Talk like strip the nose. Like that, Dan. Them poofy. Not for everybody that is just joining as well. Oh. Oh, somebody just sort of screamed out of the other end. Stand back, do not touch the reins, he just said. About 30 seconds after we moved along from the other horse. That had to happen, inevitable as always. The key thing, though, to be honest, is not really which end I stand or whatever happens. It's the fact that they are back to shouting at full volume uh, in tourist faces. Which I think I speak for all of us when I say we've missed, we've greatly missed it. It's going to be a good, uh, good autumn, folks, and a very good winter, without a doubt. Let me try and concentrate on the chat, guys, if I can actually see the uh, questions and comments. Uh, the horses stay here for one hour, unless the temperature gets into the low 30s, in which case they will be taken off. Uh, why do they, I mean, people don't have to touch the horse, they like to touch the horse. Why? Because, you know, it looks more like more of a sort of, hey, I was there and I touched the horse kind of picture. It makes sense. Uh, snow is rare. Um, it often snows, but it rarely settles. Last Christmas there was snow, a lot of it, and it settled. Will there be this year? I'm optimistic. We've had a pretty cool summer this year. Weird as that might sound a day like today. So I'm hoping we have a really, really cold. I'm talking zero minus five winter. I personally thrive at around zero minus five, so that would be great for me. In fact, I'm happy down to minus 25 even. Much easier to, uh, to keep yourself warm when it's cold than keep yourself cool when it's hot. I haven't posted it yet, but I got a, an interesting video this morning of one of the horses being super nimble with a kid. Can he shout? I mean, they can do shout. We've heard a, quite a bit of shouting today. I've heard a couple in the arches this morning. Only one at the front. Uh, the chap to my left, the other boxman that we just walked away from, who then screamed moments after I'd moved away, he has no issue at all with schooling tourists. Uh, so shortly I will go and spend a bit of time in front of that other horseman. Goal for this week, folks, is to hit 340. We're super close, actually. We just hit 338. Uh, bearing in mind, it's a bank holiday weekend this weekend. So this weekend, unless uh, something unexpected happens, will likely be the most busy, chaotic weekend of the year. Because we're going to have uh, tourists, British people, kids that are still on school holidays, and everybody else on a bank holiday out in London. The, the last bank holiday of the year is next Monday. So this weekend, I will try my hardest to be out Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Um, in terms of a day off between now, I'm not sure, yet sure whether it'll be tomorrow or Friday. It looks like the weather for tomorrow right now is saying it's gonna be, would you believe, rainy all day. To go from this today, you know, almost 30 degrees, perfect weather, bright sky, to tomorrow, rain and drizzle all day. I mean, British weather is, uh, is bipolar. It really is exceedingly bipolar. But there it is, you know, welcome to London, folks. Odd, isn't it, though, how it can go from this to that in the space of, well, I mean, roughly 12 hours overnight. But tomorrow will be a nice day for people that like, uh, like to walk in the rain. Get your umbrella ready for tomorrow. Splishy splosh time, folks. This horse is super passive in the heat. Look, he's really chill. Actually, I think he's going to go to sleep. Guard's not doing too bad, actually. <laughs> I hope it bites someone. I mean, you wouldn't say that if you were here with your kids and the horse bit your kid's hand off, would you? I personally don't actually hope that the horse ever bites somebody. We've seen people get nips uh, and scream and shout, but actually, an actual proper bite? Luckily not. It would not be a nice thing to see. Us animal rights people would uh, be all over it. They would be literally all over it, guys, in the sense of, oh, you know, horses are being uh, 
made to stand there too long, so they're getting agitated, biting people. You can already see the headlines, can't you? Yeah, network returns to normal, numbers go bonkers again. We'll be higher even this afternoon, probably. Crazy, eh? Yeah, the horse, always, the horse is always happy, in fact, actually, with the, with the kids patting them. You can see, look, how passive and happy the horse is, getting his nose straight. You want to get a little closer? Plus, you never know how itchy his nose is in this scoop. Not the best tourist pictures, though, when the horse wants to go to sleep. He's massively chilling, yeah, he's having a good time, this horse. He's like, guys, leave me alone. It's too hot. Oh, US Marine Corps. Hey, welcome to the chat. Thank you, Ramadita. Thank you. Yeah, but do not touch the reins. Yeah, they'll shout that, yeah. Oh, Kai from Liverpool saying, do not, he's good man, telling his kids, look, you know, don't touch the reins, otherwise he'll shout at you. If only all the parents were like that, eh? That responsible. Sadly, folks, they're not, as we've seen many times. Okay. Ah. Way too many parents are just way too blasé about the way that their kids behave when they're here. I find that odd, but I guess it depends as well, you know, whether you're here with a little one or you're an experienced parent with several kids. has got the best spot out of all four today. He really is in the shade. Uh, I haven't had lunch yet. I'll be breaking for lunch. Uh, to be honest, I won't even eat. I will be having a, a brief break um, at around 2.10 for 45 minutes. So uh, I'll be here for the uh, three o'clock change and the end of day inspection as well. So all of that's coming up. Yeah, th that's the only downside, guys. The chat sometimes goes with ridiculously fast when it goes above one and a half thousand people. Oh, Mods, can we get rid of uh, Dopey Harry, please? Goodbye, Harry, and thank you for joining. Uh, wait, what's not fun at the end of the day? Tor is getting owned. I mean, it's funny in the sense that they're not paying attention. And plus, you know, since they, uh, yeah, since they redid the sign at the front um, and they, you know, they added the new wording, I personally have precisely zero sympathy for anybody that decides they're going to grab the reins because it's there in black and white. Um, you know, it is actually there in black and white on the wall. Do not touch the reins. What is his salary? His salary is what he gets paid. That's what his salary is. If you mean how much, hey, my friend, Google it. Oh, that's your friend, Hasib. Yeah, I mean, you could argue that, okay, yes, some people can't speak English. Yes, they can't understand the sign, but you know what? How many languages do need to be in? 50, 200? The question about the wage, it's an interesting one. You know, I don't need to give you a specific amount, even though I do know it. You can't just look at this in terms of what is the base salary for a trooper. Why? Because as I broke down the economics before, the troopers get to live in one of the most expensive residential areas in the world, not just in London, in the world, okay? They live about one and a half minutes walk from the front door of Harrods in Knightsbridge, okay? High Park Barracks. It is an absolutely prime, prime, prime central location. And they pay virtually no rent. Stop drinking then. So if you factor in the rent with the remuneration package, the troopers, they do pretty good, folks. Why? Because most people spend about 40, 50, 60, even 70% of their salary on their rent or mortgage to live in Zone 1 in Central London. Troopers are paying less than, in most cases, less than 2%. 2% of their salary um, goes on rent. 
So arguably their salary is actually way, way above the, uh, the average for London. And the average for London is about, I think roughly about 28, 29,000. Might be a little higher now, but I seem to remember last year it was 28, 29. So the troopers are way above average, like massively above average. Is it, is it currently, so last year was 28, 29, so it's the average for this year, average London income, is as high as 36,000. In which case the troopers are a good 15% above that. Taking consideration the uh, subsidised accommodation, massively subsidised food, free travel, plus the base salary. Plus, when you're in the army or you work for the emergency services, you get a lot of other discounts. You get, for example, discounts on your monthly mobile phone bill, discounts on so many other things. So if you factor all of that in, they're probably not doing it bad at all financially. Again, it depends on what you spend your money on. Yeah, exactly. Or better still, Google it. Um, you know, it is actually a, pub, a matter of public record. You can Google uh, the salary ranks, the salary stratum for uh, for soldiers and their various ranks in the British Army. Uh, these guys are troopers, which is the equivalent rank to a private um, in the non HCAV. So you know, all that information is public and available. Thank you very much, Annie. It's hot today. It's really hot. The trip is chilled as it. Ice cream. You want to see Kate? Kate Moss. up soon. Regular army or household cavalry? I assume you mean the British army. Congrats if you've already passed basic training and been accepted. really holding back actually in terms of going in front of the horse, I'm not sure why. Oh, it's going too soon. The, uh, the lady behind him, where she's in jail uh, for not paying her fine, the guard shouted at her and she got locked in the guard's jail. So she's there, they might release her this afternoon. Don't forget it's on, what we had. Don't forget there's an animal, it's a horsey, okay? I actually don't think that would be a bad idea at all. Find people, and if not, throw them in the jail. Just section off that little corner, make it a little guard's jail. Okay, come on, sweetie. Nanny wants one of the guard as well, so I get one in and someone's there, so she jumps back out. Good morning, welcome. Yeah? I know the rules. He taps the king's guard. And he's right, the boy's right. Oh. Spanish military have just arrived, everybody. They're reclaiming the Falklands. Spanish troops behind me, massing. They've got uh, loud hailers as well. Yeah, somebody uh, smashed their head into the sign, I think, this morning. Let the 
That's the wonkiest I've ever seen this sign. The only way to get it wonkier than it is right now is to hang it upside down. I agree. Sign discipline. The sign should be straight. Should be uh, put up with a spirit level. Beware sign crooked. I need another sign talking about the crooked beware sign. I love this trooper's composure, uh, to be fair. Just like her smile, lovely smile, look. Headset at the end. Classic. Oh. Okay, oh, his selfie pole is super long. <laughs> oh, who's up next? You love it, eh, people. The entire world. Uh, and sometimes, occasionally, people from other planets uh, come here and pose for the horse. We've seen a few aliens, haven't we, in, in our time here with the horse? <laughs> Over these weeks and months. Yeah, he's got a very flexible back, this guy. See that? Basically bent itself in half of that, that picture. It's impressive, isn't it? I wish I could fold myself backwards like that. If I could do that, I could scratch my own. <coughs> today, which is great. Welcome, folks. Never saw the corporal force, actually, today down the, uh, the chap that's here. Big burly chap. I see he's very happy and smiley, despite the fact that he must be absolutely roasting in his, uh, in his uniform. His hands must be absolutely drenched in there. Yeah, he, he was out here a little bit earlier. Um, I didn't really kind of get a picture, never a chance. There's too many people here in, in the courtyard. Ridiculous number. I'll try a bit later. He's, uh, he seems like a friendly guy. It is quirky. I mean, it's sort of all the English style. You know, it's almost. Uh, the only, only thing missing from that sign is uh, ye, ye oldie beware. That would make it a little bit more sort of you know Shakespearean and authentic. 
or beware, be, beware all ye would be a better way to, do, to have the sign painted. Or take notice peasants, be, beware peasants, this may kick or bite. Coming up on Monday, hey, I might well be here on Monday if I am. Come and say hello if you'd like to. And well, they need to hang the sign a little bit higher now, I think. Get the picture, in fact. The problem being, if you're super tall, the sign is going to be above your head. Look, the people do a little like her. Camera that is, by the way, guys. I'm not saying I like her. I'm talking about her camera. It's a like her. No, no, no. Let's hope the horse doesn't mistake her straw hat for a bale from the stables. Everyone, he's already licking his lips. Is he going to go for it? Come on, horsey. It's there if you want it. Just flip your head around to the right and grab that hat fast and munch it. No, he wants this one instead. He wants to eat. Oh, he just yawned. He's like, get away from me with that blue top. You're not in the Blues and Royals. Great smile. That guy's got a great smile. Yeah, there's, I've got some funny footage this morning of some of the, uh, some of the tourists running away when the horse got a bit nippy. It's funny actually how sometimes some people get their pictures taken, they look at my camera instead of the camera of the person that's taking their picture. I feel a bit guilty sometimes. I really do. It's super guilty, but you know what, it is what it is. from Venezuela. In fact, can you invite me to Venezuela? Uh, ideally to uh, Caracas. Grab his hat. Why would I grab his hat? It's also not a hat, it's a helmet. I'm surprised you should know that being a helmet yourself. Did he get? It's a happy tourist. It's super happy. She was so happy. I'm surprised. Maybe she won the lottery. I think she won the Powerball and then flew to uh, flew to the UK this morning. There's a horse here as well. I'm more obsessed with the sign than, than the horse. Maybe that tall guy will come along with the same one last week who stopped uh, and fixed the sign right in front of the camera. I haven't seen him since, in fact. Maybe he's been kidnapped by the guards. Squint. Uh, squint is what you do when the sunlight is too bright. Patience of the guard, the way people. How many of us would like to work uh, to have to deal with, say, probably 500 people an hour we've never met before, getting perilously and sometimes far too close? What is a what? Oh, C O H. Uh, it's an acronym for Corporal of Horse. Yeah, C O H, Corporal of Horse. 
typically during the day is the most senior person uh, on duty here. And that changes obviously when a captain or a major arrives for the end of the inspection. Uh, I used to think there was enough guys before I started coming here that a COH was a coffee on the house. Uh, so I used to go to Starbucks uh, and ask for a free cuppa. They give it to me. I drink it. And yeah, I always thought it was a coffee on the house. But now I know it's not. Oh, I guess they didn't like the first picture of enough. They're back. Of course, it's like, I swear I saw you two before. Lily Marie, good morning. Gay, oh, Jay Gay. That right, the gay rhymes with the name Jay. I guess it's because you just got banned. Bye bye. Jay's gone. See ya. Welcome, watching from New Zealand. Oh, here's another one. Another kid about to get banned. Bye bye, bad man with no brain. Another one gone. Lovely. It's a couple straight out. Now, I'll add those words to the band. Uh, or rather blocked keywords this mods at lunchtime that way we won't have to deal with uh, stupid little kids writing nonsense in the chat. Sammy, who's Sammy? Uh, Mods, can we get rid of anybody that's making pointless speculation about Muslims and why they cover their heads? Uh, goodbye to you, Lindsay. Thank you for joining. Thank you, Nikki. Yeah, I can't be dealing with that. No criticism of other people, their, uh, their religions, not in this chat, wrong chat. Thank you, Sammy. It's very kind of you. Beautiful day here, guys. It's super hot. I mean, I'm staying here because I'm in the shade, but my God, it's hot. Ooh. Thank you very much, folks. The reason it's good that, um, that people that work here, um, you know, and spend their working days here, um, are happy to join the live, is because it helps to educate all of us about the reality of, of how hard this work is. Because so many people join, oh, there's a guy sitting on a horse. That's not hard work. Or hey. You know, what does he do? He's just a guard. Most people don't even realise that he's a, you know, a serving soldier, a trooper in the British military, and that he will be one of the first uh, to be dispatched if, God forbid, we ended up in an actual conflict again. I think, as well, to be honest, um, it, it's the fact that the mod team are strong. They get rid of clowns straight away. We don't accept any misogyny, any racism, uh, any discrimination, any criticism of. Uh, of what the military do here in London. If people want to criticise, go and do it in someone else's chat, not in this one. Even the horse agrees, look, he's like, dude, you are right, bruv. Look, you can see, can't you, 100%. I think he's struggling to stay awake because it's so hot. Yeah. Thank you very much, guys. I mean, fundamentally, we're all here to learn, aren't we? Yes, it's entertaining. There is a lot of, of entertainment as a component of these lives, but, you know, for me, it's about learning. So I try to memorise so much of the info. That's also how I now know that the lifeguard wears trousers with a small blue stripe, and the Blues and Royals wear trousers with no, no stripe. That's right, solid red. 
finally started to memorise the key detail to work on the cat badges next. I've got no clue, everybody, um, which captain we'll have today, although I can tell you with about 99% certainty that it will not be the same captain as yesterday. Why? Because we've got a new regiment. I've got an idea who it might be, but we'll have to wait and see. We might get super lucky and might get the major, who knows? Still got very low troop numbers in London, so many of the lifeguards are still away uh, on their annual leave. Temperature, I mean, in the shade, 25, in the direct sunshine, probably close to 30, I would think. In the yard, in the hot corner, it's definitely about 30. Yeah, you notice, in fact, when it gets super hot that uh, numbers thin out because people run away to the corners for shade. Plus the Spanish guy, uh, Spanish ladies that I know, Anna and Nuria, already finished their tours for today and went home. That tells you how hot it is. Uh, wrong chat for pointless speculative questions, NLB6, I have no brain, goodbye to you. He's gone, bye bye. Can you imagine actually guys having a, an intellect that small? He's joined somebody's live and asked that kind of a question. Extraordinary, isn't it? Yep, he's definitely gone. The only thing he's going to shoot is uh, blanks, and we know where he'll be shooting them from. Hey, UK ambassador. Hey, have you been to the palace recently? Palace apparently has been absolute chaos. Uh, they do an hour at a time, they do semi, yep. One hour and it's changed over. Boom. Weird. Oh, you're weird. Sorry. 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 What's this like called? Our person, would you? What's he called? What's his name? What's his first name? I'm sure he won't mind. I'm sure he won't mind. What's his first name? If we go inside, I can introduce someone and they'll confirm. Come on, man. Come on, man. Let's go inside, mate. Come. Dan, are you still in the chat here? Got a couple of guys. One second, guys. Come over here. Oh, wait. oh, they're going to run off now. Look, they're going to get... Ch uh, look, little chickens. Off they go. Look, now they know. Look, playing the big man. Hey, guys, I'm waiting. I thought you wanted to chat seriously. Oh, off you go. Bye. Proved yourself wrong. Come on, seriously, guys. No, but why bother getting into it with us if you don't even want to talk about it? No, but at the same time, if, but if you're asking us, no, like, actual but hold on. Well, you're just waiting for something to happen there. Yeah, wait for saying to have a small job. That is absolutely... I'm a vlogger. Oh guys, why, I think there's why, only one person whose brain's burned. Why, why would you be so angry with him? He's not, not I'm angry with him. Yeah, but you, what are you getting into? <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm astounded. You called us idiots. No, but hold on a second. Hold on. Astounded by what? He's here doing this thing in, in an area that he's allowed to do. And why would you guys care so much about what he's doing? You're public space. I, I heard it was a thing and I'm astounded that, that, that you stand there looking for some sort of instance. Right, why don't you go back to your lovely, lovely, lovely let, life? Let me give you, a, let me give you an example. Wait, 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 guys, 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 guys. Yeah. I'm, I'm very, very happy in what I do. Let, let, you're clearly not happy in what you do. You have to come in from front of us. I'm some right. misery. You're making money out of wait, misery. Wait, let me help people. Wait, 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 hold on. Wait, I, that's a good example of helping people. Okay, let me tell you an example. I, I didn't mean to. Listen, listen, listen. For example, a lot of the time, troopers' mums, for he and I, they will come along and they will speak to their, their sons or daughters working here they will be recorded. That kind of footage, yeah, we had, yeah. that well, kind of footage. One of the blues and royals. You're one of the blues and royals. If you can't even be... Go ahead, go ahead. One of the blues and royals died at the age of 22. Right? Oi! You drink! Go away! 
Okay. Oh, there we go. See, trooper. Bye, guys. Retire. I don't think they are retired cops. They're definitely not retired cops. Oh, lovely. The trooper just basically said to them, you three get lost and they've wandered off. Did you see that? It's unbelievable. These two complete clowns here in the tunnel started getting in Bosco's face massively. Yeah? I, I, I was listening to the conversation, so of course I jumped in because they, they were did, bang they out did, of well, order. They did it right next to me. I was like, you know what, I'm going to... Yeah, they are bang out of order, these, these two idiots talking to him like that. He did, he's doing nothing wrong and they start getting straight in his face, yeah, criticising yeah. him, etc. That is just not acceptable. It's really good that the trooper stepped in, in fact, to tell them to get lost. Is that what he was doing? Yeah, I mean, they were completely taking the whatever. I, no, no, I know, but just, just leave the police and the troopers to deal with them, yeah? It's not worth the time. Unbelievable, eh, guys? Can you imagine? This is the first time we've ever had a couple of clowns who are claiming to be off-duty police. They're not off-duty police. They're complete morons. Uh, and they're trying actively um, to, to, you know, to, to, make, to make buskers, to make Mark angry. And he's done nothing wrong, bless him. He's done nothing wrong at all. They just started on him right at the front bang out of order can you imagine it's just not not on I can't I really it annoys me so much when people start bullying somebody else for no reason I noticed that we tried to talk to them and explain rationally etc and then when I said to them hey if you come in you know I can happily introduce you to somebody obviously at that point they start you know blah 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 and run away and then start getting all angry and aggressive absolute comedians clowns idiots sorry guys that you had to endure that I thought it's better to film it just in case it kicked off because I wasn't sure whether they were just drunk or stupid but in the event I think they're just plain stupid and ignorant so there's nothing that can be done to help them what a very odd way to behave though it's like they're talking to me I was like don't you talk to me like that it's, just, it's not on it's really not on in fact absolutely not on okay right what time is it it is oh we've got nine minutes guys um, until the changeover I noticed, in fact, that every time I tried to get involved, they were not willing to have it out with me, and they were picking on Mark, and that does not at all wash with me. Really doesn't wash with me at all. And the second I put my hands on him, he's like, oh, don't touch me. What a clown. Anyway, good, uh, good man, the trooper, for, for stepping in there and telling them to, to get lost. Love it. But see how quickly they ran away when the trooper told them to get lost. No, but I mean, come on, that's the first time I've ever experienced anything like that, and that's just that's completely out of order. You know, they, they're starting to harass Mark just for being here filming, that's not acceptable. Who, you know, they, they have no right to tell anybody here what to do, absolutely not. They don't work here, they're not in the military, they've got no, no rights more than any other member of the public that are here. So good that the police get rid of them as well, they've now gone. Yeah, I mean, just, I can't understand it, you know, you heard me guys, I tried to talk to them sensibly. You know, I didn't even raise my voice, but at the end of the day, you can't you can't rationalise with stupid, can you? It just doesn't work. It's a pity, Dan. That things like that always happen when you're not here. <laughs> that would have been super interesting uh, if you were here. Actually, to see their reaction. Glorious. Yeah, yeah, look at me. Come on. Come to school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll cut that up later, guys. I need to review it, obviously, because I want it to get pulled. Uh, can you explain Busker? Okay, so, so Busker is somebody that's been streaming here for a long time. Uh, he has a very famous channel. Anyone that isn't following it, as well as mine, should be, because, in my opinion, it's the, you know, it, it's the single best and the longest channel that's been covering events here at Horse Cards, uh, Busker in the Park, Busker spelled B-U-S-K-A, Busker in the Park. Um, yeah, they, they came out and they started uh, you know, getting into it with him for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Um, and, you know, I, I know him and I respect him and I'm not going to let him be bullied by a couple of uh, oafs like that. It's not going to happen. Pity you guys because it was all sort of so optimistic and everybody was so happy here, you know, with their pictures, tourists and everything else. And then boom, something has to happen, doesn't it? Always when it's hot, you know, the fruit loops like that always come out and cause those kind of issues when it gets really hot here. We've seen it before with all kinds of weirdos, but not quite as, as dramatically and badly as that. Uh, extraordinary thing to see, I mean, really extraordinary thing to see. And here, I think you guys heard all of that conversation during the. Uh, 
during the course of the live shocking. I mean, really shocking. A good thing that the trooper here, you know, stood in and, uh, and made it very clear that, you know, enough with the, the screaming and shouting in the centre of the yard. Absolutely not acceptable. You know? For any of you watching, how would you feel if a bunch of people just came in and started getting in the face of, of other people in your place of employment? It's just not on, is it? I mean, it's really not on at all. Yeah, I think that's what they wanted, actually. I think they wanted, fundamentally, to, uh, to to make a scene and have it captured because, obviously, they clearly came along targeted Busker, um, probably knowing that if they riled him, he would film them, and boom, they'd probably end up on YouTube and or on TikTok. It's kind of pathetic, actually, when people do that, you know. Um, I, just, I don't understand it. Failed actors, maybe. I mean, clearly, they, uh, they're not actual police. Probably where to stand, actually. I think I'll get on the usual spot over here in the corner for that changeover. So, yeah, sorry that you had to endure that, guys, but I thought it was better to sort of somehow get involved and just ignore it because uh, if we let that pass, then there'll be other clowns coming on doing the same thing. Really, that was really extraordinary, honestly. I mean, of all the things that have happened this year, that was the most extraordinary. They did, and the guard, I don't know if, you, if any of you were watching, you would have heard the guard screamed, you know, you, you three. Uh, he was talking to the two guys and Mark, because obviously they were arguing, I was trying to get involved uh, and de-escalate it. He said, you three, uh, what did he say? Do you three get lost, or you three leave, or you three move on? I can't remember exactly what he said, but he basically told them to stop. And then the police stepped in. Yeah. It's just not on, is it, really? You know, I, I don't, uh, personally, I, I can't, I can't stand bullying. It's just not on. Get out of there. I think he did, yes. I think he did say that. Yeah, I've never heard the guard get in, involved in some, you know, something civil here. Um, and, you know, obviously that was a civil dispute. Of course they get involved if there were, you know, something that would involve the police needing to, to intervene. Uh, but at that point, the police obviously did come over and then uh, they were moved on. So, you know, happy ending, finally. You three go, that's it, yeah. I'll, I'll post it later, guys. Um, just making sure, obviously, that Mark is not in there because it wouldn't be fair, but just really, really unacceptable that people can uh, behave like that in this place. No, that was the guard. That, that, that shout, everybody, was the guard. Yeah, that was the guard. It was not the police. That was, uh, that was the thing that sort of took me back a little bit because I've never heard the guards get involved in any sort of thing here. And they're often... I, I wouldn't say anything quite that dramatic in terms of, you know, actual argument. But there are sometimes little disagreements here between tourists, people pushing and shoving. And that's the first time I've ever heard a guard verbally get involved and be like, hey, you know, get out of here. Extraordinary, really. Very, very different to, uh, yeah, very different. Okay, good. I'll, I'll review it anyway just to make sure. Worst thing is I put it up and it gets pulled for, you know, harassment or whatever. I just need to check the language in that video before I post it tonight, but I will have a very good look at it. Um, I'm going to move right, right the way back uh, because I'm at the second line. Everybody here is on the wrong line. Now, what does that mean? It means that probably the guard will not push them out of the way with the horse. We noticed this yesterday. They seem to be taking it a little bit easy with the tourists. So if, uh, if he doesn't rush into the tourists... Oh, you're watching it. <laughs> you're right next to me watching the live. Do you hear all the drama over there, isn't it, Greg? Yeah? I know it's just like, it's really out of order. It's grown men trying to intimidate somebody, just horrible. Yeah, I know. I, I, it wasn't, he, they didn't approach me, but obviously I can't let them speak to him like that. It's just unacceptable. You know? Very rude. Yeah, you would think so, wouldn't you? Especially if they claim to be, you know, police. They, they, they claim they're off duty police. Yeah. No, no, obviously they weren't. They're talking out of their whatever. So they quickly stopped saying that when the actual police came over. Yeah. Imagine, can't you? Oh, Dan, I'm just talking with a lady who, who was watching the live. Uh, she heard it from the beginning out, out the front. Um, she stayed at the front because she didn't want to obviously you know, get involved in the mess. But yeah, not, not a nice thing to hear, was it? No, not nice at all. But well, at least uh, they got moved on, didn't they? Yes. <laughs> it works out well in the end, as they say. But, I mean, it's very rare, though. I mean, you, I've seen you here before. It's very, very rare, isn't it, that there's any kind of problem here that people argue or fight. It's just... Yeah, yeah. No, I know, I, know. I remember. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yep. 
I'm understandable, yeah. I was thinking for a second about, hold on, what's going on here? They were super aggressive with him, with no reason at all. It was the guard that shouted, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was surprised myself that he, he verbalised it. You <laughs> three get out, or whatever it was that he said. Extraordinary. Uh, Debbie, yes, Lorraine is right here. Debbie's asking you still at horse guards. Yes, I am. Excuse yep, me. Lorraine, gonna, Lorraine's right here. I'm going to watch this change the and then I'm off. Come. I don't think the they're going to push them. Come. Um, back this time. I know. They're, they're, just, they're getting too cheeky, aren't they? Too many of them. Okay, let's see, guys. I'm going to stand here just in case they do decide to use the horses to push everybody back. I don't think they will, personally. Building his horse guards, it's a ceremonial entrance to Buckingham Palace. Hey, I hope you do come soon. I hope we get some drama like uh, we had a little while ago, next time we were in London. What are they doing? Who, the guards? Uh, they're changing over. The boxmen on the horses are changing over with the current boxmen at the front. Here they come. Is he going to push everyone out of the way? That's the key question. Nope, he's taking it very, very slowly. Wow, what an afternoon, eh, folks? What I will do in a little while when I have that break, um, I will post the glorious footage of the guard pushing through the crowd earlier. Back in guys, I'll lift that up high so we can see it clearly. Extraordinary guys, look at how beautiful the view is over the front in this weather today. Look at this, isn't that completely spectacular with a flawlessly blue sky? Remarkable, eh? Everybody flooding out. It is, it's a really, really, really perfect day. There isn't a cloud, folks. Look the sky. I think that's why the sun rays uh, probably fried those guys' brains. That's where everything went wrong. Okay, right, let me find my friend. We're going to go and have lunch. Um, I'll be back here, as promised, everybody, um, at around, I hope, 10 to 3-ish, quarter to 3, 10 to 3, something like that. Uh, so I will be back very soon, everybody. Uh, until then, take it easy, folks. Back soon. <laughs>